It was another jaw dropper in a week that's already seen more than a few. One of three senators facing suspension without pay declared today that he was offered what he described as a backroom deal in exchange for lesser punishment. Patrick Brezzo said it happened just this morning. So at approximately 10.20 a.m. this morning, I was outside this chamber in the back and the leader of the Senate, leader of the government in the Senate, took me aside. And I'll be very careful about my words here. But I was essentially offered a backroom deal. You can imagine how that went down. Senior correspondent Terry Molesky picks up a story. Terry. Well, Wendy, the Senate saga drags on. The government is pressing to shorten the debate and get the three problem senators kicked out pronto. But they are still fighting back. What, 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 what you you be Senator Pamela Wallen was back again, painting the Senate as a kangaroo court. Due process is not possible in this chamber where it seems a majority wants to put my head on a platter. As for Senator Patrick Brazo, he stunned the Senate by claiming he'd been offered a backroom deal. Fess up and we'll go easy on it. And the backroom deal was that if I stood in this chamber, apologized to Canadians, and took responsibility for my actions, that my punishment would be lesser than what is being proposed in the leader of the government and the Senate's motion. I couldn't believe it. The Liberal caucus was incredulous. The NDP, too, which has no seats in the Senate, was a maze. Who to believe? I mean, Canadians throw their hands up and are frustrated and disgusted because uh, we didn't think the Senate could get worse. But the government's Senate leader says he never offered a deal. He merely suggested how Brazo could help his cause. I said to Senator Brazo, look, uh, Patrick, you could do amendments, you, do, you could propose some things uh, uh, and apologize. He, he said it's, uh, it's a deal. It was not a deal anyway. And so it went in both houses. In the Commons, the government hit back at the Liberals. We're asking on Liberal senators to stop obstructing it and pass this motion so that we can respect taxpayers' rights, we can get rid of these three senators and stop paying them. The Liberals will not be complicit in the Conservative cover-up. This is all part of a huge cover-up. They want to sweep this whole affair under the carpet. They want, to, they want to get rid of it in advance of their party convention next weekend. And the Conservative dissidents continue to resist their party. If we can slow it down a little bit, we are the chamber of sober second thought, so let's uh, simply go with sober second thought. <laughs> But the Prime Minister, who wasn't in the House, was on the radio, urging the Senate to get on with it. There are some people who believe that there only should be disciplinary action taken if a senator is actually guilty or charged with criminal wrongdoing. But Harper's critics continue to insist on due process, saying the three senators are being railroaded. So the battle goes into next week, with the Tories hoping to put it behind them before their convention in Calgary, Wendy. Thanks, Terry. Terry Malewski in Ottawa tonight. And Evan Solomon joins us now. So, Evan, today, after months of an uproar over accusations of a secret deal between Duffy and the PMO, now we hear allegations of another secret deal from the government leader of the Senate to Patrick Brazo. What are we to make of this? It's pretty stunning. Just when you thought this bucket of mud was empty in this scandal, apparently... It's not. This is a very serious allegation, Wendy, because it deals with the new government leader in the Senate, Claude Carignan. Now, this is the guy that's brought forward this controversial motion to suspend the three senators without pay, in part because they're alleged to have been involved in backroom deals. Now, he's alleged to be involved in a backroom deal with one of those senators. The irony was not lost on anyone. There was a stunned silence in the Senate when Brazo uh, made the application the allegation. Now, Carignan, on his part, he says, no, I was just chatting with Brazo. It wasn't really an offer, but that could be just a distinction without a difference. This will hurt the credibility of a controversial process. It will hurt the credibility of the Senate. It will hurt the credibility of Claude Carignan, who's supposed to be untainted by all this, and it may even cause further divisions in the debate as to what to do with these three senators. Very quickly, what else will you watch for this week? 
Well, we'll watch those divisions. Is there going to be a growing split or a rift in Stephen Harper's caucus over this? And you watch, there's conservative senators and a former leader of the conservative party, Don Platt, who won't vote for it. So watch for that, that split and watch to see how this drags on and may have an impact taking over the agenda at that conservative convention in Calgary. Thanks so much, Evan. Evan Solomon tonight in Ottawa.